fellow movie buffs and film connoisseurs, it is yourself proclaimed Cinema Shogun here. And the director for the upcoming Flash film, Andy Machete, actually just dropped an interesting photo on his Instagram. So I go over here and look at it, and this obviously got to be the Michael Keaton Batman suit. Now, we've known for a while that Michael Keaton was supposed to be in the upcoming Flash film, but there was a little confusion there for a while because, I mean... I think there's some social media posts coming out from Michael Keaton that said that he might not do the, do the film due to COVID and different little things, but we basically known he was going to be in this movie. What we didn't know is what kind of role he would, you know, play, what he would be doing in this film, you know? Is he going to be like the guy in the chair, you know what I'm saying? Will he don his bat suit? Um, and to me, I don't want to jump to conclusions here. But the fact that he's releasing this photo of, of course, the bat suit, and there's even some blood on it, it makes me believe that we're going to see Michael Keaton in action. I wasn't too sure about that. I knew we were going to get Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne in the movie, maybe doing some things, but I wasn't sure if he would be suiting back up as Batman. And from right here, it definitely looks like it is. Now, as far as the suit goes, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Batman Returns suit real quick. Okay? I mean, we see that it's definitely different than the Batman 89 suit. I think the Batman Returns suit looks a little more armorish, but you can still see there's problems with the, the cowl right there. You know, he can't get much neck movement, although it's a little bit of an improvement from the 1989 um, suit as far as the neck movement goes. Um, but this new suit looks a little more metallic. Let's take a look at the um, 1989 suit as well. Let's see if we can spot some differences here. Definitely, definitely some differences. I mean, the bat looks, the bat to me definitely looks more Batman Returns-ish. Well, let me, let's go back one time. Yeah, definitely Batman returns this on the bat. But I mean, this suit looks a little bit more metallic to me or something, a little more armor-ish. So are we going to see our armor in Michael Keaton Batman? I don't know. It almost looks like there's like kind of like rust and weathering on the suit. I mean, I know the suit's probably old. Maybe he dug it out of the closet. But this kind of looks like something a little more metallic to me. Now, so I mean, there's not really much to really go on here. But I mean, I'm digging it. I'm digging the fact that we're going to get that retro suit. It's been a while since we've seen like a Batman in color, like the yellow I've always loved that. I've always loved the yellow backdrop and the Batman symbol in front. Um, but I don't know. I, this doesn't really get me too hyped. Simply because we know that The Flash has just been a development hell. I, how many directors has The Flash had attached to it? Like, even after seeing this, even knowing that they're making the movie right now, I still kind of don't believe it. It's like it's gone through so much trouble that I'm kind of going to believe that The Flash is happening when I'm sitting down in theaters. Another thing that takes away from my excitement is I honestly hate Ezra Miller, as, Mizra, <laughs> Ezra Miller as Flash. I really do not like him as Flash. Just doesn't give me Flash vibes. Um, it's not even necessarily to do with his performance. His whole vibe, his look, his feng shui, his whole presence as a human being to me doesn't feel like Flash. Also, I mean, it, it's not even necessarily to do with his actions off screen, but... I don't know. I've never really digged him as Flash. I hate his run. So I'm not as hyped about this movie as I could be. I mean, we got Michael Keaton coming back as freaking Batman, and I'm still sitting here like, I don't know. I can't get my hopes up for it. I mean, at the same time, we have the new Spider-Man sequel coming out, and we know that Tobey Maguire is coming back for that. And I'm 100% hype about that. No matter how much news pours out about it, no matter how many people talk about it, every time I even see anything about it, I get hyped. I'm getting hyped talking about it right now. But I can't get hyped for this because DC just lets me down so much with their films. I get let down so much. I already hate Ezra Miller. Andy Machete is a, is a fine filmmaker. I don't got a, a problem with him, but he's like the 10th filmmaker attached to this movie. And I don't know if it's going to be kind of forced. I see blood right here on the bat symbol, and I don't need my Batman killing people. Once again, I don't know if they can really land the Batman vibe. I don't know. I'm really kind of scared. I'm honestly kind of scared about this movie. But we'll see. I mean, it's supposedly it's supposed to be Flashpoint. It's supposedly it's supposed to reset the whole DCEU. Let's get some new characters in there and whatnot. 
replace some of the old actors, but it's like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I know that it can be great. If they do it right, it will be great. And regardless, I'm so happy to see Michael Keaton back as Batman, but my excitement just can't get there because I have, like, I don't have faith in DC films. Or, like, they've just let me down too much as of late. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm glad that we're getting the retro suit. And, I mean, it's, even as I sit here and I just look at it more and more and I really think back to, like, growing up watching the Batman Returns and stuff, I'm kind of like... I'm kind of I'm kind of brewing some hypeness in my in my belly right now. Maybe maybe I will be a little bit more hyped by the time this movie comes out. Like if, if you show me a trailer of Michael Keaton whooping ass in the bat suit at his age, then maybe I know not even maybe then my excitement level will get there. But so far I like what I see of the suit. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want you to find some time out of your day to go watch a movie. Maybe Batman Returns, because that is the best Batman movie ever. That's right, I said Batman Returns is the best Batman movie ever.